there are few do's and don'ts when you pick a baby product to have or not to have let me quickly tell you guys that whenever you're buying things for your baby think wisely shop wisely and do not buy the things that you would want buy the things that you would need uh, change yourself for someone else or you know because just because someone else is doing you don't have to do it so that your baby is comfortably sleeping as they would be sleeping longer in the initial months so if you have like serious plans of training your baby to sleep independently or to sleep alone and not to co-sleep then definitely i would recommend just because someone else is doing don't do it for your baby your tricycle as a stroller yes you can use it but if you're using the tricycle to make your child learn cycling then i would say no as long as i think that in my head i'm going to influence the same to him and as long as i believe that he will be able to do you know i if i teach him that it's fun he's going to adapt the same thing which i would recommend you to rather save for your baby than investing in hey guys assalamu alaikum namaste and wanakam welcome back to my channel saumira sharif All right guys so as you guys have already seen the title and thumbnail this video is going to be all about the baby essentials do not and do buy when you are expecting a baby so firstly uh, congratulations to all those who have just become parents and uh, secondly congratulations to all those who are expecting to uh, have a baby at home now in case if you know somebody who are expecting a child or you know in your family if somebody is going to have a baby please do share this video with your friends and family and uh, without blabbering much let's just dive into the video now why i have created this particular video is uh, if you have seen i mean if you guys have been following me over a period of time you guys know that like the initial stage of my pregnancy i created a video along with anwar jan guess the baby products and in that video anwar jan was literally i mean he had no clue that actually these many baby products do exist and uh, he was really awestruck and he said i'm not going to buy any of those but i made sure and had i think 80% of those uh, baby products now while uh, i have been using like so many baby products there are few things that i would really want to genuinely share with you guys there are few do's and don'ts when you pick a baby product to have or not to have so i thought let's just help you guys to buy what your baby actually needs and what you would want for your baby so there are two different categories one is need the second one is want as a new mommy we would want to buy everything that is available in the market for our baby and that's how even i was i wanted every small bit for my baby or Uh, the baby that i would be having then uh, later on when i actually had a baby i realized that all those were my wants but not actually needed so yeah too much of blabbering i know let's get started with the video so first and foremost thing this video is totally going to be about a baby and not about the mother so uh, first thing that you would need that you would have to have for your baby is let's start with the hospital bag swaddles mittens beanie and definitely newborn clothes now i personally would recommend you to buy a preemie clothes because a newborn is definitely though your baby is fully healthy and even if it's a full term baby your baby would be very tiny and if you buy a 0 to 3 months clothes for your baby the clothes would be too loose so at least one or two uh pairs of clothes you can buy a preemie or uh, less than 0 months clothes for your newborn just for the first or second day like first two weeks your baby is definitely going to be of that size and your baby would look very pretty wearing the proper sized clothes at least two pairs i would definitely recommend for the sake of pictures at least and not to you know make your baby wear oversized clothes and as i mentioned when you're buying the preemie clothes or you know less than 0 months clothes make sure you don't buy a lot of them because your baby is not going to last in the same size for more than 2 to 3 weeks your baby is definitely going to put on weight rapidly and your baby will start growing bigger in size so please don't invest a lot in the preemie clothes or you know uh, too many newborn clothes now next thing that you would need for your baby is a hospital carry bag or the sleep bag that you call that is the bag that you carry your baby to the hospital because the first month you're going to have 
regular follow up checkups like you know every week you're going to have a follow up checkup with the pediatrician so make sure you have a baby carrier the sleeping bag so that your baby is comfortably sleeping as they would be sleeping longer in the initial months so your baby needs to have that happy sleep and the third one that i would recommend you to have is a baby carry cot or uh, the car seat this is definitely recommended uh, the carry cot come car seat because it's going to be very comfortable if you have a car it's definitely going to be comfortable having a carry cot or a car seat so that your baby can comfortably sleep and also safely sleep in the car so you guys know that i've been using a lot of different strollers for arhan now this is something that i would definitely would want to get to your notice there are several different strollers in the market so i have a baby hug stroller which comes with a bassinet then i have a love lap stroller which is you know uh, bigger in size then i of course have a travel stroller which is the cabin stroller so i have three different strollers and if i have to pick and choose and if i had to make a wise decision of buying a right stroller then it would definitely be the love lap stroller because it's going to last me for longer time as it is bigger in size and also uh, in case if you thinking your baby is too small for this big stroller you can always stuff it with the side pillows and make it super comfortable for your baby to sleep in i was very fascinated with the baby hug bassinet stroller because it is very fancy but later i realized that it's not going to last for longer time like you know 12 to 15 kg is the max that the stroller can carry and our baby the moment they turn one year they'll be already 10 plus kg and the stroller won't be that useful and the bassinet will fall small for them to sleep and too many uh, cons with that so i would definitely give that a thumbs down and definitely recommend you guys something that will come for a long run and if i had to recommend because i've used three different ones definitely the love lap one and then moving on to the bassinet for baby to sleep in the bedroom so if you need a bassinet for your baby to sleep then i would say a no to it because you don't really need a bassinet yes it is too fancy like you know there are so many uh, uh, brands in the market who make amazing beautiful looking bassinets even i was fantasized i wanted to own one baby jalebi makes awesome bassinets and i wanted to buy one for arhan and just because of the space uh, constraint that i had in my room i did not invest in a bassinet otherwise i would have had a dedicated space dedicated nursery for arhan where i had the bassinet the crib and all those things but later as he kept growing and that phase passes in no time i realized that you know it was literally waste of money and i'm glad that i did not invest in a bedroom bassinet because as i said it's literally waste of money and wouldn't be Uh, something that i would recommend so a bassinet is a big big no but yes the small baby bed which comes with the bumper i don't know what exactly that is called uh, i will surely flash the pictures or the videos of those so this is something that yes you can invest or uh, a normal bed sheet where you can just uh, make a roll of it or you know use the baby swaddles and just create a boundary for your baby and ma- make your baby feel comfortable and cozy that itself will do because even this small bed your baby is going to grow old in no time like i had two one in my bedroom and one down uh, as we were living in our old home so that you know whenever arhan would sleep down he had one there and whenever he would sleep in our room he had one there and later i realized the moment he was 3 4 months i had to literally discard it and it was i felt it is of no use and uh, it that it does look very pretty very fancy very cute with all the mosquito mesh and all that with the nice bows and you know beautiful colors and amazing looking things but if i had to recommend then i would say no please don't invest in that rather you can just make custom make something by yourself because this phase is going to pass very very quickly and uh, during the nights as you keep nursing your baby pretty often you can't keep opening and closing the mosquito zip so the mosquito mesh is most of the time open and you will make sure that there are no mosquitoes in your room so no point of having this tiny bassinet or whatever this is called and then coming to a baby crib uh, yes i personally would recommend if you plan to train your baby to sleep independently or sleep alone then a baby crib is definitely needed but in case if you have plans of co sleeping then again this is not a great investment in case if you want your baby to sleep in the crib during the day times and with you during the nights then i would say you can actually create a crib on your bed rather than investing in a crib because uh 
कम से कम वाला क्रिप विल डेफिनेटली कॉस्ट यू फ्रॉम सिक्स टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड विच आई वुड रेकमेंड यू टू रैदर सेव फॉर योर बेबी दैन इन्वेस्टिंग इन अ क्रिप एज इट्स कॉन बी अ वेस्ट ऑफ अ फर्नीचर दैन योर बेबी यूजिंग इट सो इफ यू हैव लाइक सीरियस प्लान ऑफ ट्रेनिंग योर बेबी टू स्लीप इंडिपेंडेंटली और टू स्लीप अ लोन एंड नॉट टू को स्लीप दैन डेफिनेटली आई वुड रेकमेंड यू टू बाय अ क्रिप सो थिंक टाइस थिंक वाइसली not just because everybody is having you don't need to have it you buy things what you want your baby to do and not uh, because just because the peer competition just because someone else is doing don't do it for your baby you are the wise uh, decision maker for your baby and you would know it better and if i had to decide i had plans of uh, you know making arhan sleep independently and having him trained for sleep and all those things but uh things were different i i was living at my mom's home for a couple of uh, months or weeks where there was no crib and he got used to co sleeping and literally now i feel it's waste of a furniture literally becomes a dump yard and uh, i regret buying a crib and if you think that is going to happen the same with you then i would definitely not recommend you to buy a crib and you can use a bed bumper like you know the uh, i don't exactly know what those are called i will definitely insert a picture so you can use these to you know uh, have a shield around your bed so that your baby doesn't fall and make a crib of your own if you're co sleeping with your baby and uh, next as your baby grows oh there's one more thing that i missed on a baby rocker is what i use for arhan so if i would recommend you to buy a baby rocker then again it is subjective depending on how much you would use it or you know how useful would that be so when we used to live in our old home it was very useful for me having a baby rocker and uh, as he kept growing it literally became again a waste of furniture if you have a uh, extended family where you think you might pass your baby's furniture to your extended family then yes you can invest but in case if you think that your baby is the only child in the house it will look fancy trust me it's going to look super fancy having your baby rocking in the rocker and you know with the nice soothing music playing and all of those but if you are buying it just for the pure pressure then i would say don't buy it it's not really needed rather you can buy a great play mat for your baby and let your baby you know uh, roll over on tummy and have a good time on the floor than having on the rocker so this is something that i would recommend yes i did use a rocker i in fact had two rockers one at my home and one at my mom's home which i uh, one we have already uh, given it to someone one i had it for the sake of memory but yes i will definitely donate it to someone very very soon and uh, the next thing that arhan uses is definitely his tricycle i wanted to have a tricycle for arhan uh, because i wanted him to explore obviously there were other kids in the society who were riding cycle so i wanted him to have an experience of cycle if you think if it is needed or no if you're using your tricycle as a stroller yes you can use it but if you're using the tricycle to make your child learn cycling then i would say no rather you can invest in a balancing cycle as your child grows older like you know 1.5 years or 2 years old you can actually buy a balance cycle for your child and uh, let your child explore and learn how to balance and then directly move on to a proper cycle without the side wheels that is how it's going to help your child grow so that is what i would personally recommend and uh, yes arhan enjoys the cycle so A cycle is definitely a big big thumbs up and a lot of you have been asking me about which brand cycle that Arhan uses. So there are a couple of different brands again in the market and the most beautiful and the most gorgeous looking cycle is definitely Bentley and uh, as every other mom wants to do the best for the child uh, I also wanted to buy the Bentley cycle for Arhan which is somewhere around 20000 and I thought if not for my son for whom would I do? then later uh, as i had bad experiences in the past like you know buying couple of things and not being able to use it for long then i decided instead of putting 20000 behind one cycle i would rather buy a cycle which is around uh, 6000 or something and save the rest of the money for arhan so that is what i did so don't go for you know uh, fancier things or you know costly things rather uh, buy something which is efficient for your child and make use of that okay so now moving on the next thing that i would recommend you guys to invest in is definitely flash cards flash cards are something that's going to help your baby uh, develop their senses uh, their vision and also their mind like you know the coordination understanding and all of those 
So investing in the right flashcards for your baby's appropriate age is something that I would personally recommend. And also make a routine of, you know, uh, showing these flashcards to your baby, teaching things for your baby and all those stuff. And the next thing, talking about the play mat. Now, uh, a play mat is something, you know, nice foamed play mat and also which is easy to wipe in case if there's something spilled on the play mat or even if your baby is burping and if there's little milk spilled out so you can just wipe and clean it and coming to toys the early age like you know initial months we love to you know have so many things our babies we would end up buying so many toys which actually will be of no use the only thing that you would need for a newborn you know, or the baby the initial days definitely the flashcards and maybe some tummy time toys, some nice cute or roly-poly toys or something like those where your baby can be attracted and also have a great tummy time, try to roll over, try to crawl and all these things like, you know, couple of toys will do and uh, maybe a nice soothing rattles than having a very loud music or a loud noise, I would say, something that I would recommend. And uh, please do not invest in a lot of toys as your baby keeps growing like you know three three months four months you can invest in the learning toys where these toys like you know the Montessori kind of toys where these toys will help your baby have a nice fine motor and gross motor skills and stuff rather than you know uh, just leaving your baby for the sake of entertainment don't do that and uh, try your best to not to have any screen time because once your baby gets addicted to the screen time it's going to be super difficult for you to you know get your baby out of that because screen time is something you know which is very attractive and uh, baby would just obviously want to look at the screen, let it be a phone screen or a TV screen or any kind of screen. Try to keep your baby away from the screen. If you're thinking that you are just playing rhymes or some uh, uh, fun uh, cartoon stuff on the TV and not any action or anything, that also is very attractive and uh, you're ending up showing the screen to your baby which means the eyes are also gonna get affected so try to avoid screen time rather you can play music on phone or any device that you have where there is no screen time or you can sing rhymes for your baby teach your baby with the things that you have in the house keep singing keep talking that's how your baby is gonna learn everything now moving on as your baby keeps growing we would definitely want to upgrade the things that we have and uh, oh, before moving on, another thing that I quickly forgot to mention, a baby bather. Baby bather is definitely, definitely something that I would highly recommend you guys to invest in. Again, there are a couple of different brands who make this baby bather. I picked mine from Amazon and I don't really remember the brand. Could be baby, no, Amazon. I don't remember the brand. Anyway. I will try to leave the link in the description. So the baby bather has been very, very helpful for me because I personally was giving a bath to Arhan since the very first day. Yes, uh, my sister helped me once, the, uh, Bibi Auntie Deshma Auntie did once. But ever since then, it was just me and a baby bather was so, so, so helpful. If you are someone who is used to the traditional way of having your baby on your legs and giving a bath that way, then it's great for you and also for the baby. But in case if you are like me and if you are you are not really familiar with the traditional way of giving bath, then I would definitely recommend you guys to have a baby bather because it's going to be super comfortable for you and also the baby. And both of you can enjoy the bath time rather than, you know, getting panicked or, you know, uh, having panic attacks how are you going to manage how are you going to hold the baby how are you going to hold the neck how are you making sure that there's no water going in the ears or any of the holes so baby bather is a definite yes from my end and in fact i used it almost till arhan was eight nine months or more no actually i think till he was 10 months close to 10 months is when i used the baby bather and that's when i stopped using a baby bather until then, he he was always on the baby bather and it was so comfortable. He used to enjoy every single shower on the baby bather. He still does. But a baby bather is something that I would definitely, definitely recommend. And the next thing is uh, a high chair. As your baby keeps growing, things would change and your baby starts solids. And a high chair is definite yes, guys. Irrespective of you teaching your baby uh, self-eat, even if you're following baby led winning or no, I personally would recommend a high chair mainly because it's going to be very comfortable for the child and also for you and when your baby is watching you eat on the dining he the he or she will know the table etiquettes and also will try to imitate you try to replicate you 
And maybe even if you're not training your baby for baby led weaning, your baby would want to eat independently by himself and not depend on anybody. And if there is a chance for you to teach your baby, you know, leave your baby on baby led weaning, then I would definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and start baby led weaning because it is something that, you know, will make your baby understand his or her hunger and make them eat by themselves. Yes, it is a time taking process if you believe the process. It is definitely going to happen. So a high chair is definitely, definitely recommended. And if I had to recommend a high chair, then again, I've used three different high chairs. One is from the brand uh, uh, R for Rabbit. And the other one is from the brand Star and Daisy. And then I have one from the Love Lab. And if I have to recommend one for you guys, then it definitely would be from Love Lab. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, but I personally have seen different uh, things in each of the high chairs that I've used and if there's something efficient in all of these then the Love Lab definitely takes first place then Star and Daisy stands second and obviously the R for Rabbit ones is the last one. Now R for Rabbit and the Star and Daisy high chairs that I have can be used as a study table as well as your baby grows but again these high chairs have some cons like you know they don't have a footrest or they don't have additional tray where your baby can comfortably eat but uh, uh, if there's a con that the Love Lab high chair has is it cannot be converted into a study table later in future but it has wheels, it has footrest and it has an extra tray where your baby can comfortably eat so definitely this is a big thumbs up from my end so high chair is something that I would definitely 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 recommend for you guys to have and uh, then uh, the other thing that I personally use for Arhan is a diaper station now diaper station again is subjective yes you can have or you know change your baby's diaper or you know get your baby freshen up anywhere and everywhere but why did i choose to have a diaper station is it is very comfortable and if something that has helped me recover from my delivery is definitely a diaper station because after my baby's shower, if I get my baby on the bed and uh, try to dress up my baby on the bed, then I would obviously need to bend and dress my baby up. Anything, every time that I change the diaper, obviously in the initial months, your baby is peeing or pooping every feed, right? So after every feed, you need to change the diaper and obviously you need to keep your baby neat and clean. So the diaper changing happens very often. And every time you bend and do the activity, which means your back is going to hurt very badly. But having a diaper station, it helped me stand straight and do the activity onto my level, which actually helped me in recovering very, very faster than uh, taking time. So diaper station, again, in case if you can uh, make the space for a diaper station and if you can afford to have one, then this is something I would definitely recommend. You can actually create a diaper station on a chest of drawers. If you have a table which is of this height, you can still uh, just have a diaper uh, station uh, created there. So I picked mine from IKEA. IKEA has a dedicated diaper station, different diaper stations they have. So I picked mine from IKEA. Uh, it costed me around 5,000 or something. And the uh, diaper changing mat or the mattress kind of a thing I got from Baby Jalebi. So I will definitely take you guys through my diaper station tour because I keep a lot of things on my diaper station. So I would definitely want to show you guys in detail about the diaper station. In this video, I just want to talk to you guys and tell you guys what are the things which are needed and are not needed. Now moving forward, as your baby keeps growing, your baby needs to be trained for potty, right? So for potty training, what do you need? If you should buy a portable potty trainer or if you should buy the potty seat for your baby. If given a chance, I would recommend you to have a additional seat for the uh, commode for your baby rather than having a different potty trainer because once your baby gets used to this one, it will be very difficult to uh, you know have the transition from this to that to your baby rather you can directly from diaper change to this one where your baby can directly sit on the commode and learn how to uh, you know how does it feel to have uh, passed the motion in the commode than in the diaper so that way potty training will get more easier for you rather than training twice so something I would recommend is definitely an additional seat to the commode. And moving on, baby carriers. Uh, baby carriers are something that I have used for Arhan. Again, I use from three different brands. One is Soul Sling. The other one is Love Lab. And then from Bud Baby. 
Now, soul slings, I used two different bags. Uh, one is Asima and the other one is, uh, uh, I think it is Eka, uh, E-K-A, if I'm not wrong. So, uh, these were the two uh, baby carriers that I used from soul sling. Super comfortable, very convenient to carry a newborn. In fact, Asima, you can carry till your baby turns two or three years old, if I'm not wrong. The uh, the Eka that I had was only for your baby from from the time your baby is born to I think one year or six months, not really sure. But Asima lasts you for long, and then Love Labs baby carrier also is super comfortable as that also is made up of uh, fabric than the hard kind of a case. It's super comfortable and gives your baby that cozy hug. And then I have used Bud Baby again. Bud Baby is very comfortable. Uh, as your baby keeps growing and you ha will have a habit of carrying your baby on your waist. So but baby makes it very comfortable for you and also for the baby to sit on the seat. The seat is uh, attached to the belt. So it gets very comfortable for the baby and for you to carry. So uh, if your baby is growing uh, or you know if your baby is around 8-9 months or growing then I think but baby is something I would recommend or if you're gonna have a newborn at home or you know if you're expecting a baby super duper soon then I would definitely recommend Asima from Soul Slings and next thing is a baby diaper bag again diaper bag is subjective if you are someone who is gonna travel a lot along with your baby travel as in you don't have to travel away from your city but in case if you're going out on a regular basis then I would recommend you guys to have a dedicated diaper bag like a proper diaper bag diaper bag or in case if you are someone who is most of the time at home and might go only for the checkups or you know every maybe once a while then I would not recommend you to invest in a proper diaper bag because a diaper bag is definitely expensive it is thousand or plus so instead of investing in a proper diaper bag you can just use a regular bag that you have at home and uh, have your baby stuff in that and in case if you are someone who is gonna travel a lot in a car then I would definitely recommend you guys to invest in a car seat now again I have two different car seats one is from Star and Daisy and the other one is from Love Lab now, if I have to pick and choose one out of these two the Star and Daisy one has isofix Love Lab doesn't but uh, somewhere I feel that Love Lab's car seat is gonna last for a longer period of time as in I can use it till my baby grows older than compared to the Star and Daisy one that I have so I have two different car seats one for my home and the other one obviously for my mother's home and then one of the recent things or uh, recent purchases it's been of course couple of months that I've been using that is a shower cap that I use for Arhan very comfortable very convenient and also helps Arhan enjoy his uh, head wash I mean he allows me to wash his hair very comfortably and doesn't have any issue never cries never gets fussy and in case if you think using this head cap will make your baby not know how it would feel of having uh, water on his face or you know having to understand what exactly water is then you're absolutely wrong this doesn't I mean you don't have to pour a lot of water on your baby for your baby to understand how water feels or, you know how it would feel for your baby to be uh, around or in the water there are different ways and different techniques to teach or make your baby understand so a shower cap is something that I would highly recommend and make every activity with your baby let the baby enjoy it than forcing or you know uh, for example this morning we were blasting the balloons in the house we had few balloons lying in the house so uh, Tabasum was blasting them and she stopped saying he's getting scared so uh, sorry I will not do it now I said no let him know that balloons will blast you burst one and smile laugh and show him how fun it is to blast the balloon so he should understand and learn things rather than you know getting scared of anything let it be anything he sh shouldn't be scared of it rather enjoy doing things if I think that if I do this or if he does it it's gonna uh, be a problem or you know he's gonna get scared as long as I think that in my head I'm gonna influence the same to him and as long as I believe that he will be able to do or, you know I if I teach him that it's fun he's gonna adapt the same thing so uh, all I would say is you be positive, spread that positivity to your child and believe that you can do it, your child can do it and everything is possible. And again, congratulations to all those expecting parents, congratulations to the new parents and uh, let me quickly tell you guys that whenever you're buying things for your baby, 
think wisely shop wisely and do not buy the things that you would want buy the things that you would need don't invest a lot in the baby clothes or baby shoes and stuff rather you can invest in baby bibs baby swaddles and uh, baby socks mittens and stuff and things that you would actually need than want uh, as i have actually bought a lot of newborn and 0 to 3 months clothes for arhan but he was most of the times in swaddle i would dress him up and just swaddle him so i would dress him up click pictures and swaddle him so this was something that happened on a regular basis so i would definitely recommend you not to invest a lot in newborn or 3 0 to 3 months clothes and again last but not the least this is something that arbaz reminded me of if you are someone who believes in white noise and making your baby have a sound sleep using the white noise then having a sound machine is something that i would recommend and if your baby is independently sleeping then you need to have a camera for your baby just to monitor your baby or you can buy a baby monitor up to you whatever you think is comfortable for you and for your baby and if you are someone who believes that you don't need a camera or you don't need a white noise great because you be you you don't have to Uh, change yourself for someone else or you know because just because someone else is doing you don't have to do it if you believe that you would need it and if you think um, maybe you would want to practice it then i would definitely recommend you guys to have that there are a lot of different cameras that we get in get on amazon very reasonable ones there are definitely there are different baby monitors as well which we get on amazon you can pick and choose yours sound machines are kind of little expensive you can maybe have a speaker where you can connect through bluetooth or use a pen drive and use the sound machine i use alexa for my baby and i have a mini sound machine which i use while we are traveling so yeah that's about it these are the things that i use and uh, things that i needed and wanted and my things my do's and don'ts i hope if this video was helpful and informative please do let me know in the comment section what you guys feel about it and also you guys ask me these kind of videos when i create you don't watch it please do watch share and do subscribe to this channel and also all the family channels everything is linked in the description box and yeah with that i will sign off and see you all soon in my next video until i'll see you next lots of love they tell me that i'm never gonna make it they want me to do something that can make sense they hate when i keep dreaming i'll be famous but i don't give a fuck i'm gonna keep chasing i got all this potential is deep inside of me but they hate when you're successful cuz they try to be they sit there being just meant to because you trying things and they just want you to settle and do the right thing so get a good job don't slack 